What's up, everybody? It's Quizzy. I am back today. Got my son today. Look, oh, he looks so upset. Mwah. That's because he was just crying. I had to bring him over here. I just wanted to let y'all know, man, I'm feeling good, man. I'm feeling real great. Don't have no lemonade, you know what I'm saying? But I got a Gatorade. I'm sorry if it's allowed in here, like just in the highest point, in the tallest point of this castle that you call a house. And guess what? It is hot as hell up here. So I got air conditioner and I got two fans going. So today we're gonna be reacting, me and my son are gonna react into a high value man roast woman, all right? Uh, so now this, I, I like stuff like this because, and not the fact that he roasting a woman, but just the fact that he spends some game, this dude spends some knowledge, and I want y'all to see it, and I wanna just talk about it for a little bit. So without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get into it. I'm not gonna take too much of your time. Well, I think I bring feminine inspiration to the table. Like Kelly Rowland say, I'm gonna be your motivation. When you come home, I'm gonna be in lingerie. I'm gonna keep it nice and fresh and waxed for you. I'm gonna cook your food. Look how dude smirking in the corner. Look how dude smirking in the corner. You see him? I don't ask for a lot. Okay. <laughs> I mean, okay, okay. No, no, he got caught. Analyze this table real quick. You see, you got the three girls on the side. You got the dude that's going bald right what here. Is that? You got black Akon looking motherfucker. Then you got the smoothest nigga in here. This nigga in the back with a goddamn cowboy hat on. All right? The reason why, now take a look at this body language. He's not impressed. Take a look at this dude that say he is CEO, got the CEO chain. He's very much impressed. He likes exactly what he said. I mean, he likes exactly what she said. And the reason why I believe is because if you don't, now I'm not saying that I don't know him personally, but if you don't normally get it, it's gonna be like, oh yeah, 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 I love that, I love that. But watch what the dude in the hat say. Hold on, hold on. See, I got you. Yeah. I got you, right? Nah, yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. She got you on that reverse. Hold on, hold on, hold on. She got you. Yeah, Chris. Hold on, hold on, hold on. On that basic shit. That's what men want. I want to know, right? Who want that? So, Chris? Mr. Gunning? You heard how he just said, the guy in the back. The guy in the back, he said, she said, yeah, men want that. He said, who want that? Who want that? Who right? Who want that? Come on. He's a high value guy, right? Right. I want to know from your brother. What do you look for in a woman? So you heard all these answers, right? What do you look for? I mean, yeah, like, of course most of them is gonna stand on they pretty, they gonna fuck you and all that, come home. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. Like, mm -hmm. we get that dominant. Look at her face. Like, nigga got bread, nigga. I'm 6'6", 230, I'm smooth. I, even without the money, I had every woman I ever wanted. So, like, just cause you're gonna be at my home when I come there cooking, I don't need that shit, you know what I'm saying? I never needed it, you know what I'm saying? I need a girl that's gonna understand what I go through, who gonna keep a motherfucker on top of his toes, that's gonna push him and motivate him. See, I think a lot, I think it's a misconception with a lot of females. I think that y'all think that we want females that's just bad, just look good, that just got a fat ass. That's cool. And I mean, I would say majority of the time, a lot of men want that. But what we desire, after you get that, what we desire is somebody who, who got good conversation, who got common sense, who can help take you to the next level. Just the looks alone only gonna get you so far. It's only gonna get you in the door. That's like your looks and, and your ass and all that shit, that's like a resume. You go out to a job, you hand them a resume. You say, hey look, here you go, I'm trying to work here. I'm trying to be your employee. I'm trying to make you money. All right, cool, that job gonna take the resume, they gonna look, okay, you got the qualifications, okay. You talk a good game, they gonna give you the interview. Boom, but then when they put you in the job, you gotta perform. A lot of women bank off their resume and they bank off their interview. They don't perform well on the job. The job ain't that. The job is, you know, supporting motherfuckers. Make sure you hold them up. Being, you know, you know, having more to that. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep going. Let's keep going. You know what I mean? That's also going to come with some ideas. You know what I mean? Be, give me creative criticism on my grind. You know what I mean? Also add add to the t to the table. You know what I mean? Not just trying to grab some food every time it's it's filled up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You gotta bring something to this table. Like fucking pussy is over with after a certain time. Like we can I can fuck any bitch I ever wanted in my life. I always have. That's not appealing to me no more. You know what I mean? Once you get money and once you was already having that, you gotta bring more. Your energy gotta be right. Your mind gotta be right. That's that right. Body don't mean nothing after a while. 
You know what I'm saying? A nigga will fuck anything, man. <laughs> so like, you could be the baddest bitch in the world. That's yeah. fine, nigga. Hey, you see? So look, everything he's saying, I want y'all to, I want y'all to peep this. Everything that he just said, because it's going directly against how she feels, what she said, she doesn't want to look stupid. Instead of her just acknowledging that, being like, damn, all right, maybe I should want to bring more to the table. She's taking it as a personal attack for his opinion. Gonna have you, and I'm gonna fuck a bitch, a two or a three. A nigga would do that. Yeah. Happens yes. all the time. You know what I'm saying? Jay Z had Beyonce, he still fuck some other pussy. How can you beat that? Because <laughs> I, he just want some new pussy on the Damn. Street. So that ain't nothing, man. It's your energy, it's your mind, what you bringing to help me grow. That right? was gonna help us grow. That what counts. Yeah. Preach, brother. Yeah. Preach. Mm -hmm. But I'm a bad it. bitch brings inspiration nah, that you not want to no, not, not to get. no real nigga that already yeah. had that if you got a fat lame rich nigga that need all that i just want a bad bitch that nigga he's a square mm -hmm. he's a nobody yeah. but a nigga that been sufficient his whole life and got every girl he wanted what is a bad bitch doing for me just being That's bad nothing. nothing we always had that what you bringing more than just being a bitch it's a, oh, it's a million bad bitches walking this earth that's the cheapest and most easiest thing to get for a nigga got some money is a bitch and some pussy Bam, you go, like I said, you go to Brazil right now, it's going to be a 10,000 bad bitch you've seen in your life. You give them bitches one dollar and a coffee, and that bitch going to get your meat, man. That ain't worth, that's worthless to a real nigga, man. Right. You, you see how she don't want to laugh. That shit was funny. He said, you give a bitch a dollar and a coffee in Brazil, and she going to lick your feet. But look, look, you see that? The real, the real truth is he not lying. He said, man, look, when you coming up, when you coming up, the easiest thing for you to get is a bad bitch. I'm, I'm reiterating it so that way y'all can see it, y'all can hear it, all right, from another perspective. Because a lot of guys, look, take take these rappers for example, all right? Like, like what, what 2 Chainz said, all I want for my birthday is a big booty hoe. Let, let's be honest though, 2 Chainz, where how 2 Chainz is, he been getting money. Now, I don't know 2 Chainz personally, but I don't think Two Chains has. I don't think he has any problem in the woman department. You know what I'm saying? What you want to say, son? I don't think he has any problem in the woman department. So when he said, "All I want for my birthday is a big booty hoe," a lot of rappers, that's all they want. Period. That's all they want in life. Period. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, you got to understand that that's not all a rich man that has been getting that, or even a man. Like someone like me, I've been getting, I've been getting females. It's not, it don't, it don't appeal to me all the time. It'd be kind of like, what else you got though? You got, yeah, you bad. Oh man, I, you know, so I can't take bad to the bank. You gotta be a fat, slow brain, regular ass nigga that finally got some money to be opposed. And I got, oh, I got a bad bitch. Like, come on, man. Like that's a different type of breed of human that get they, they rock soft to that. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. Y'all get your money now. Go get all them niggas. <laughs> but a nigga like me, that shit is like it's nothing. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? We gotta, our energy's gotta be connected. Don't, don't, you know what I'm don't, saying? Don't, we gotta, we gotta grow together. That's the most important. So thing. you'll take a basic bitch that is somebody that you want to talk to over a bad bitch that will inspire you. So you consider yourself a bad bitch? No, yeah, I do actually. So you above basic? What? You don't work. You don't have no attributes <laughs> to the table here. Like, what I are do we have about? attributes. I'm, like a, I'm, a, I'm, I inspire my men. How? How? You got no job. You got, what's your education? Listen, what, when, what's your but you have to, no, but you have to realize that when men make it to a certain level, right. they're not checking for a woman's education. They're not? When you're, ch when you're making millions of dollars, you don't care about a woman's education. Yes, you do. Talk to yes, the plenty of rich men. I do. I've t I'm I've, I've, yeah, why wouldn't you care? Like, when you're making millions of dollars, bitches just gonna come, like, she don't understand. Women are gonna come to you regardless. If you, look, you've heard this before, but I'ma say this. You will always, if you chase women, you will always go broke. If you chase money, you will always get women, all right? Like, there's a better way to say that shit, but I don't know right now, I forgot it. But I'm just saying, it's, at the end of the day, if you get money, you gonna get females, period. That's period, they come with money. Now, if you chase women, you might not even get the woman. And you definitely ain't getting money. Man, I got an estate in Malibu. Okay, an two estate? acres. Yes. Oh, I would acres. like to see the paperwork. Okay, we can show you paperwork. <laughs> Go ahead and show, show me the paperwork. Who are you, though? You gotta show paperwork to somebody. Who are you? Paper. That would have made no sense. Show me the paperwork. She ain't got no paper towels for paperwork. She ain't got no paper. Can yeah. you, you put don't even know what a deed is. You don't even know what a deed is. What deed you got? What deed you got?
deed to these. <laughs> Come on, man. You, 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 got, you, got, you got a little residue underneath your nose, baby. He's no, certified. I don't do that. He's certified. You know what I'm but, uh, but I get but, like, what you're saying. I, I, but, I get what you're saying, though. Like, yeah, she yeah. fucking with loser, fat old niggas got money. I get nah, it. Nah, negative. Play with them. But when you're, when, seriously, There's when no you way reach you got a certain nobody level, efficient when around you, you reach a certain level, you don't care if that girl works as a bottle girl. You don't care if this it girl has matter. a job. We like, you don't care. We gotta have somebody that's so smart, though. Cause you we can already, tell you ain't got no smarts. Like we need somebody with some level. brain. It ain't about just want to suck my dick all the time. The energy needs Damn. to be matched. We need, yeah, yeah. yeah it's, it's, it's bigger than but just. But you're saying because she doesn't have a job or work, it don't matter. she can't match we, we, your energy. It don't matter. We're talking about you personally on the but educational But you don't know term. me personally. I can tell you, you ain't got no brain. Honey, I worked in corporate finance. You what did? are you talking? So yes, why are you not baby. Now? Because I don't want to be. So you want to be a slave to a man with some money? I want to. Yeah. I want to be. Dad. That that hit it right there. Look at old girl right next to him. Bitch, you done opened your mouth. Now she was like, I knew not to bring your ass. Look how she looking. I knew not to bring you, bitch. But look, he said, so you want to be a slave to a nigga with some money. I don't advocate no woman to be a slave to nobody. I advocate women to be submissive to her man. I advocate women to go out and get her own shit. Stack up their own bread. Make her own paper. Be smart. Like, be intelligent. I, especially black women. All I, that's all I say. Be smart. Be intelligent. Be, be great. But he, she's basically saying, hey, look, I ain't got no job because I don't want no job. Uh, I know how to give a man what he wants. So basically, you want to be a slave to a man with some money. Be an inspiration with some, how? Money, to some money. What, how are you going to inspire him? Please explain that. Baby, I just told you. Obviously, you weren't listening. I'm listening quite fine. You see you coming to lingerie, but... No, no, you wasn't listening, gonna, though. Ain't like, do nothing I, for you wasn't nigga. listening. Okay, I got you. I want to listen to Because <laughs> at the end of the day, fuck it. You know, at the end of the day, you... You just don't, what else you gonna say? Like, look at these girls, like, let me, let me go, let me just, let me be honest, y'all. Let me be honest. Look at these girls around this table, bro. These are supposed to be, I don't know, Instagram models, that's what it just said. Instagram models, yada, yada. Look at these females around this table, bro. These is who niggas is sipping for. Look at her. I mean, the girl that was talking about the baddest girl at the table. She about the baddest girl at the table. And she don't bring nothing to the table besides herself. That's why I'm always telling, I'm always telling my boys, I'm always telling, you know, grown men, period. If, if I know you, I don't know you. Man, focus on your own shit. I'm going to tell my son, bro, focus on your music. Uh, if he do music, you know what I'm saying? I'm already putting titles on him, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a music artist. Check out my, my link below, but... I mean, like, man, focus on whatever you want to do in life. You know, these females that are going to come, man, the right woman are coming along while you up here working hard and you doing your thing. The right woman going to come along for you, and you'll be able to spot her because she ain't going to be just thinking that, like, oh, my looks is just going to bring everything to the table. Like, y'all, those are the women that suck your money dry. I mean, they what they call them gold diggers, but those are the, those are the ones that suck your money dry and then be wondering, like, oh, shit, you know what I'm saying? You ain't got no more money, well, why are we talking? You ain't getting no bag. She ain't helping you get no money, but she took, she looking to suck some more money out of you. Through you, through you. You know what I'm saying? So man, look bro, that's that's the, that's the video for the day, man. All right, so look, do me a favor, like, subscribe, comment. If y'all want me to react to more things like that, Red Pill community stuff, let me know down below, man. I always, Love y'all, support y'all, man. Actually, no, man, we're gonna get to the next video. We're gonna get to another video, man. Well, I caught my phone mid, you know, mid drop. You hear me? All right, bro, we out of this thing. All right, we out. Baby, I'm moving so low. Had my eyes look so low. I cannot trust no hoe. I'm a dog like Toto.